Nice, beautiful sample, a little bit irregular on the top. So let's see if that affects how it fails. Okay, so I will tear that out. And here we go, sample number four. failure out the sides here. Uh, this was the river rock I can see now. Um, every time. And this guy, let's take a look at him. So the peak load, 4490. And it bore 56420 pounds. So 56,000 pounds total, and you divide that by the surface area, and that gives you the pounds per square inch. Whoops. So here is a look at that sample and how it failed. Very interesting. Not sheer. It went straight down. And if I'm correct, this is the river rock sample, which I think is what I'm seeing there. And so this one probably just broke right along the edges of the rocks. Let's see. We'll pull it out and we can have a look. The specimen it held together pretty well, and uh, let's see if I can break this. Yeah, that was our river rock there. You can see, um, pretty dang strong though. You can see places where it delaminated along the outside of the rock, like right here. That flat surface was in contact with this, and it broke free. So there are some, whoops, some failures of the rock itself. There you can see one a little bit. Here's the corner of that one. Um, so, oh, I can see, yeah, you got your shear failure here, the diagonal shear, shear failure, but you can definitely see that what we had was an issue of a failure between the surface of the river rock, which is pretty smooth. All these are river rock surfaces and the rock itself. So that's a bond failure. 